to do, man. Listen, I had a tune. I was speaking to my boy Magic. Um, that's that's like he's like my brother. He's the one that I told you guys that they he found out that he got stage four cancer, and um, I'm supposed to be going to Florida. He wants me to go over there next month, so I'm definitely gonna go. Um, he, he's gonna pay the he's gonna pay the ticket for me to go the first ticket. I mean the ticket to go, and I'm gonna pay the ticket to come back home. Um, I never I never been to Florida, never been there, so you know it's gonna be new to me. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and plus I'm not going over there for how you say for. Daddy got a word for this shit for um for pleasure. I'm not going there. I'm not going over there for pleasure. I'm going there to see my boy Magic and to, you know to spend a week or two with him. And you know now that he could talk, he could still laugh. Cause let me tell you, I gotta give it to him, man. He got stage four cancer. He told me that you know when he first found out about it, he was laughing. You know he was crying and stuff like that. Of course you're gonna cry, man. I mean come on now. I mean, if you don't cry man, like that, man, get depressed. There's really something wrong with you. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, whoever loves life is going to cry. I mean, if, if I would get something like that, you know, I don't think I would be so strong like him. Being honest, bro. Um, you know, I, I, I thought of things like that. What would happen to me if I, if I would catch something like that, like lung cancer or, or throat cancer or something like that? And the doctor tell me, well, well, you know, Rivera, you got three months, you got two months, you got a couple of weeks to live. What would I do? How, what, what, you know, what, what would be my reaction? Of course, I would start crying, start stressing for the first couple of days. But after that, you know, being honest with everything I love, I was, I was supposed to my wife about this many times. First of all, I'm not going to go to no hospital. I'm not gonna take no chemo because you know, let's keep it real. Chemo ain't gonna do nothing for you, man. I know I see thousands of thousands of thousands of people getting chemo and 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 that has done nothing for them. Nothing. Nothing. So you understand what I'm saying? And when you stay four, you stay four, bro. That, that's like that's like the Grim Reaper right next to you, bro. He's, he's constantly holding your hand. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going over there. I'm gonna go check him out. You know, he wants me to go over there. You know, me and Magic, like I said, we know each other since we was like 13 years old. Uh, first zoo I ever went to jail, it was with him, <laughs> of course. And uh, I always blame it. it was his fault. You know, I gotta laugh because every time I think of Magic, you know, it was Magic is that guy, man. It's that guy that you could be sad. You know, your girl could leave you for Jody, and Magic will come out of nowhere, and you will forget about that. You forget about your girl, because this dude, he, ha he has something, man, that will make you laugh. You understand what I'm saying? And not only that, he was loyal. He's a loyal friend. Let me tell you, I got, I got a couple stories, and he told me not to say none of them. Uh, but I'm sorry, Magic. I'm sorry. I got to say this one, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you my do, and, 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 and I got to keep your memories alive, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm sick myself. I got a bad heart. I could go any time, you know what I'm saying? Would I would like somebody that knew me or don't know me but got along with me and come out and say something on the Internet on my behalf? I would love that, you know, that would be beautiful, you know what I'm saying? That would be something that, my God, you know, like, people loved you. You understand what I'm saying? And I love that dude. He's my boy. Uh, we haven't we haven't chilled in years, but he came to see me last, last year, last summertime, he came to see me. And we chilled like maybe, maybe two hours, maybe two hours, we smoked like two blunts together. Um, I was not that sick with the heart, you know, you know, I, I was getting there. I was already going to the hospital this last year. So you already know guys. So anyway, <laughs> fucking magic, you know, I may tell you about, about the armed robbery, how me and magic got caught, you know what I'm saying? And, and I should tell you guys that when I told you guys yesterday about magic, 
why why we used to call them bloopy, bloopy as for blue balls, you know that <laughs> we used to call magic blue balls because the dude spent like about a hundred dollars on this girl, and he thought he was gonna get that yum yum, and he didn't get the yum yum. Somebody else got the yum yum. <laughs> Somebody else got. So I remember every time, and this was in the, this was this was in a block and a jam in the school. Uh, it was DJ DJ uh, J, JP, DJ JP was there, Rocksteady was there, uh, Africa Babada was there. Uh, it was a famous. It was it was a badass jam. Actually, it was the last jam for the summertime, and this was in May's Pool. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know it's May's Pool. Especially if you from the Bronx, that's the school with the swimming the little swimming pool they got there, three feet. Been there for years. Um, at one time, that was my house. <laughs> I mean, literally my house. Um, I had juice with with the uh, with the lifeguards, and they used to give me the keys, bro. They used to, but they used to give the keys to a lot of the Hughes boys because we ran that shit, man. We was we was daddies. We was we was daddies, man. Seriously, we was daddies. And then we was running with the chingalings. So, you know, back in that time, man, in the in the in the sixties, seventies, eighties, chingalings was respectful. I mean, people respected the chingalings. Uh motorcycle gang, like the Hell Angels, uh Black Panthers, the, I mean excuse me, the Black Falcons. Oh man, I could tell you, uh the Peacemakers. Uh my first gang was the Little Rascals. That was my first little gang, the Little Rascals. My brother Peter was the press. You know what I'm saying? Peter at that time was like 13. Peter was 13. I was, what, uh, 11, something like that? But anyway, there's so many stories of magic. Hold on, I'm trying to think of one that that I want to give you guys. Matter of fact, let me tell you the one that, that oh yeah, I, I know which one I'm going to tell you. I know which one, but <laughs> he ain't gonna like this. He ain't gonna like it. But Jack and Magic, I love you, Poppy. So I, you know, guys want to listen to it. Listen to it. I'm, you know, I smoked a blunt, my first blunt, I think since two days, something like that. You know, and and you can see by the eyes. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it was summertime. All right, was it Fourth of July? I think it was Fourth of July. I think it was 4th of July. And at that time, this is um, 80, 86, 86. I just finished coming home from my first bid. Magic just came home also. Because uh, on my first bid, I did a year. I did a year. A year, you already know, you do eight months in the island. Magic did a one or three. Not one and a half to three, a one or three. That's because they hit them with the with the you know with the with the thirty thirty scope that was mines, and um, well you know it's 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 on the books already so you know he, he, he wanted it so I gave it to him you know so he was like no nah, let me get that let me get that so I gave it to him and thank God that I stopped him because he was ready to blow he, yo he was ready to blow these these, these people's back trust me I'm gonna let thank you my brother I appreciate that man. Chris, 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 Christopher, thank you, Poppy. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my brother? Salute to you too, man. That's my man, Kenny Cutthroat. I'm sorry, guys. I don't got my contacts on today. Uh, Christina's on. What's up, guys? You know, guys, I'm not using my laptop right now. I'm not using my laptop right now because I'm fixing, I'm fixing something on my laptop. Uh, actually, my boy is charging me an arm and a leg to make it stronger. I don't know, you know. I'm paying for it, you know what I'm saying, and and and, I, and and a few people told me that, you know, it's 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 worth the hundred and fifty two hundred dollars. It's worth it. So anyway, guys, where was that? Where was that? Magic. And so many stories, man. Hold on. Where where was that? The one that? Okay, the one that we went that we had a fight, and and this fight was on the hundred and eighty third in Katona, in Katona, right there, Rocksteady block. Flex, Kuriaki, Bucky, uh, Crazy Legs, all these guys was there because they had a party in the basement. Um, um, Bucky, Bucky's father, Gabi, that's his name, Gabi, he was the super of that building. So Flex 
Flex was not a part of, he was not down with Rocksteady, but everybody respected Flex. He was Bucky's brother, Buck Four, the, the original, um, you know, like I said, like, like Uriaki, one of the original Rocksteady's, he's the one that they killed. Um, everybody know this, people already know this, you know what I'm saying, so it ain't nothing, no secret. His paperwork's already written on that, on, on that. I did a story about that. He's the one that they cut the man's shit off. They cut that nigga's, that, they cut that nigga's dick off, son, and put it in his mouth, son, and taped it. And then they left two school drivers, one school driver here, one school driver in his eye. They tortured them, baby. They tortured my man, son. He was my dog. Well, you know something, I cannot say he was my dog, but I knew him. I knew him. He was a good dude. He had his ways. And and the thing is, I believe when what, what, what they did to him by cutting his shit off was because he had that bad habit of telling dudes, suck my dick, suck my dick. He always used to do that. Always. I remember one time, you know, I'm sorry, my brother, but one time I was going to knock him the fuck out because he told me that shit. And I was going to knock him the fuck out right in front of Flex. We was downstairs in the basement and we was hitting the bag because Flex a boxer. There was a few of us. It was me, Flex, uh, Kuriaki, Felipe, the one that that that, that I was that, that I was down with him as the, as a huge boy. I was not a rock steady dude. I was not no fucking break dancer, electric boogie. I knew how to do it. I used to perform. I mean, I went to, I, I went on live in Puerto Rico when I went to Puerto Rico to live. I went to Puerto Rico to live be one time, and and I and and I, and I went. One one was a TV show, like a sitcom, and the other one was like, like a dancing thing and shit that they had in Puerto Rico and shit. We came out third. They, you know, they robbed us because we was the only Puerto, I mean, New York Ricans. And when I'm talking about New York Ricans, they used to call us gringos. Gringos is what they call white men. So if you go to Puerto Rico, son, and you Puerto Rican from New York, get ready to be called gringo, all right? So anyway... Uh, where I'm at, where I'm at, where I'm at. Okay, now, that day, 4th of July, summertime, it's nighttime, it's beautiful. I'm drinking, I got a quart of motherfucking battle time A, ale. That was the style, the battle time. And that, at that time, it was the style of it was battle time. Not no St. Eyes, not no Hanneken or, or, or Budweiser. Nah, it was, it was battle time A. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't call me, man. I hate when they call me and I'm on, bro. Give me one second, guys, man. Don't Please don't go nowhere. My bad, guys. My bad. My bad, guys. That was pain. My bad. That was pain, guys. All right. All right. Are you sure you want to stop? No, no. I don't want to stop streaming. Fuck out of here. Cancel that. My bad, guys. My bad. All right. So, anyway... We chilling, it's hot, like a motherfucker, it's summertime. So, I remember I'm drinking me a court. Magic is across the street. This is the Hughes Boys, bro. This is the Hughes Boys. And, and if you don't know who's the Hughes Boys, man, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. You guys are not from the Bronx. Believe that, THB. All right? Believe that. Anyway, you know, it's, that's a bunch of us, bro. That's like that, you know, 4th of July... We already had some crazy beef. I mean, talking about we was at war, big time war at that time. And this is no bullshit. People was dying. All right? My press got murked. My press got murked. That's how everything started. You feel me? May, may Felipe rest in peace, man. Anyway, if, like I said, it was me, Felipe, Flex, Bucky, Kuriaki, Kuriaki's brother Angel. Who else? Bucky, Bucky tried, but he was not all that. I'm talking about boxing. We was all Golden Gloves, bro. All right. A lot of people just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know my fucking name. Check it out. Go look for it. Anyway, we chilling, right? I'm, I'm, I'm in the, I'm, I'm, in, I'm chilling. I'm by Hughes Avenue. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm drinking. I'm, I'm talking to the shorties. We, we, we rocking. Next thing you know, 
fucking, I see Mousy. Mousy, if you see this video, my bad. I ain't asked you permission, but I'm, 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 I got to use rank. Yeah, I got to use rank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because as a huge boy, I was, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get all my ranks. You know what I'm saying? I needed one more, and that was BC, and that stands for Backcracker. I was a Bronx, New York. You know what I'm saying? So you start from Hughes, then, you, no, 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 you get the boys, then you get the Hughes, and then, you know, if, if you start doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you start doing your thing, you get the boys. Chill for a couple of weeks, you, you know, you, you prove yourself, then you get the Hughes. Now you got the Hughes boys. Um, after that, about a year, year two, or whatever, or however you, if you, you know, if you want crazy motherfucker and you start busting your nut, I mean your nut, you hear me your nut. <laughs> you start busting your guns, bro, you get the B and the C. You understand what I'm saying? You get, um, I mean, excuse me, not BC, BX. You get the BX, all right? That stands for Bronx. And then you get the New York. After a while, you get the New York, the NY. So if you're a huge boy, Bronx, New York, you got Ranko, you feel me? You got Ranko, you know, you're, you're a baller. But to to make, to make be, to become like a captain, you know, like the mob, you got to get that BC. And I never got it because, um, you know, my man got murdered and stuff like that. And then, you know, we all started growing up, you know what I'm saying? We got into our third, tw late, you know, 20s, the 30s. And we still, you know, once in a blue moon, we have cookouts. But anyway, let's get to the story. So I'm chilling with man, you know, like I said, man just across the street. So Mousy comes running, and I, I forgot who. It was Mousy. No, 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 no. It was, it was. I forgot the two dudes. It was, it was two huge boys that came running to us, to the block. Yo, Mousy. Yo, he's about to fight, and there's mad people over there. So we was like, what the fuck you talking about? Where's this at? He was like, yo, over there, um, Rock Steady Block. We used to not call it 183rd. We used to not call it 183rd Katona. We used to not call it 183rd Prospect. No, we used to call it Rock Steady Block, but that's what it was, Rock Steady Block. And all due respect to Rock Steady, man, and, 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 for the, and for those that fell, I'm sorry, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that one day, man, I set the story. But I'm gonna do a flashback and I'm gonna say the story again. I mean, how can dudes that knew each other from babies, man, from, from kids, man, wind up going against each other like the way they did, man? Anyway, next to you know, bro, Hughes boys come out of nowhere. I swear to God, B, Hughes boys came out of nowhere. Bro. Dudes came out of their house. Dudes came out of the cars, out of cars, out of stores. You name it, B. Basements, fucking sewers. <laughs> I'm, yo, I'm literally, man, I'm not bullshitting you. Yo, when I, with like about, by the time I hit the schoolyard, uh, PS118, when I look back, that's like 200 and something motherfucking Hughes boys walking behind me and I already had what's up baby girl I already had like about a good 16 huge boys with me already I had a magic I had holy cow uh uh uh, uh killer Rick uh got, may God rest his soul got may, may God rest holy cow so damn a lot of them died man uh a, a lot of Rodney may may he rest in peace a lot of us, you know, so it was like about 16, 15, about 16, 14 of us that was with me. Holy cow, he was a rank. He was a BC, you know what I'm saying? He was an officer. So, you know, of course, you know, I got, you know, I got to, I got to, um, how you say, I got to listen to laws, you feel me? I got, you know, rules and regulations, you feel me? But even though I was more than a warrior than he was, no question about that. That's why I took over. You understand what I'm saying? So we get over there. When we get there, Mousy and this kid named Jesus that I know. I know Jesus when I used to live in Hunts Point. 
when I used to go to the school, um, IS seventy. No, I used to go. I met him when I used to go to PS. Uh, what was that school there? PS forty eight. And then he went. He, he I met him in PS forty eight. Then me and him both went to IS seventy four. Right there, Hunts Point. Uh, like fucking the prison is right there. Spotfest right there. So, so I lived in that block. You know what I'm saying? So that's a kid named Jesus. I ain't like Jesus. Jesus didn't like me. We fought. Me and Jesus fought. Um, I fought Jesus when I was like 12 years old. 12 years old. And Jesus was a, was also boxing also. And you know, so it's a coincidence. Was, back, in, back, in the, back in the 80s, man, there used to be a lot of guys that used to box, man. You know? So when me and Jesus threw a couple of punches, my mom screams at me, yo, Junie. That's what, it, you know, that's what you used to call me, Junie, for Junior. Junie, you know, stop that shit. Blah, 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 blah. Come upstairs. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm listening to Mama Duke. You feeling me? I'm a kid. I'm going to listen to Mama Duke. So before I, you know, I, I stopped, I looked at this nigga and I said, yo, you fucking lucky. You know what I'm saying? So Jesus was a, was 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 a, was a nut was a nut. He was a nut. I ain't gonna front, guys. Jesus was a nut. Matter of fact, Jesus is right now in prison right now for shooting the cop. Him and his boy shot a cop by 183rd and uh, Creston. This is like in um early 90s, early 90s. Jesus Hesu. They used to call him Hesu. You know, yeah. His mother was a beautiful person. His aunt. Um, um, Rosie, that was my heart. As a matter of fact, Rosie is my godmother. So anyway, by the time we get there, the fight is over. I look at Mousy. Mousy's lumped up. Mousy got like two color TVs. VCR. <laughs> Sorry, Mousy. He got <laughs> he got the two satellites. <laughs> This shit was like, dong, 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 dong. She was like 3D. She was coming at you. You feel me? He, yeah, uh, um, Jesus got the best of him. You know what I'm saying? Lit him up, lit him up. Anyway, we see that, right? Now, by the time we got there, remember, it was just 14 or 16 of us that was walking with me and the other fucking almost like 200 or 200 um, huge boys. We all got there. Next thing you know, Flex... Uriaki, Bucky, all rock steady. And matter of fact, back in the days, they had the rock steady for Flex. His crew was the Hot Feet Rockers. Hot Feet, like Hot Feet, like your feet. Rockers, you feeling me? They, you know, they also used to break dance and stuff like that. So when Flex see us going over there, I remember that I forgot who was the one that told them Hey, yo, Flex, you knew this shit was happening and you let one of my bros get hit, like, get, get you know, get, get pounded out like that? Flex was like, yo, I ain't know nothing. I was I was over here, guys. I was in, in, in my basement in, in the club. I mean, I was in my basement listening to some music. I got, a, I got a party going on in there. Boom. All right. Because I'm pretty sure if Flex was out there, Flex would not let that shit happen to a huge boy. Well, maybe he would have. Flex was a little... Flex was a little shaky, man. Anyway, fucking Jesus is there. He doesn't break out. This is what I got to give it to this motherfucker, yo. I got to give it to him. He had heart. He had heart, bro. Jesus had fucking heart. All right? So now, so now, I forgot who was the one that saw him. I think it was Little Pete. May, may God bless, may, may, you know, may, may, may he rest in peace. May he rest in piss. Fuck him. Little P was a, little P was a bastard. Nigga tried to take a $15,000 contract on me. Oh, yeah, kid. I'll tell you guys that story. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys that story another time. Yo, thank you for the donation. That's my boy, Willington, cousin, right? What's up, baby? That's my boy right there. What's up, Willin? What's up, baby? All right, all right? That's my playboy. That's playboy right there. So cool to see you in good mo. So thank you, sweetheart. I, I I feel I feel in a good mo. I feel I I feel good. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
Matter of fact, I don't want I don't I don't want to think about my nephew, yo. I don't want you know um, Tuesday's his funeral. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know, you know, saying um, I, you know I'm gonna take a few a few pictures, a few videos. Yeah. I don't, anyway, forget about that, man. So anyway, next thing you know, there's like 30 Hughes boys on top of this kid, top of Jesus. I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, they whipping on this kid. Pick a thing, back at them, pick a thing, back at them, pick a thing. Now, Jesus, I don't know how he managed to run, but there were so many huge boys that we grabbed them again. <laughs> Bro, another group grabbed them. Pick a thing, back at them, pick a thing, pull them. I'm talking about like about another, yo, every time he tried to run and, and break out and escape, he get caught with another group of like 20, 30, 15, until he got away and he comes to me. I'm chilling next to Flex. When I when we when Flex, when Flex saw me, then I'm walking to the block. I used to live in that block. I, bro, I lived in that block three times, but I moved in that block, big. So when he saw me, he said, oh shit, Hughes boys in the house. And then he looked at me like that. My, like I said, guys, my name was Junebug. Like, yo, Junebug, what's up? And I said, nah, Flex, I remember we were going to take care of some work, man. This nigga's playing stuff. And I still didn't know it was Jesus, man. I didn't know it was Jesus. Now, mind you, I, like I said, I didn't like him. He didn't like me. Flex didn't like him either. So Flex comes and tells me, yo, I heard it was Jesus. I said, Jesus? Next thing you know, when I say Jesus... This motherfucker wants out breaking off. I mean, he escaped from those five or 10 or 20 guys. He's running towards me. I remember Kiriko, uh, 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 Magic, Mousy, Mousy with the jet, with nigga, Mousy, they got fucked up. Mousy and like five other dudes got him. Again, they got him. So I go over there. And I, you know, before I hit the dude, I looked at him. I said, yo, Jesus. He looked at me. When he looked at me, he thought that I was going to stop it. You know, like, yo, all right, man, that's it. Because, you know, I knew his, I, I, I didn't know his mother like that, but I met her, I met her like, like, hello, that's it. But his aunt was my godmother. But Jesus was too much, bro. He was too much, man. I'm sorry. He thought because he could, he was good with his hands that he could do shit to anybody. He was a fucking bully. I'm sorry to say, but he was Jesus was a bully. So he looks at me and I caught him. Boom, boom, twice. He goes down and oh my god, B. The rest of the guys, bro. Next thing you know, B. I see like forty guys on top of him. I mean. A top of them for about a good minute and a half. That's when I said, yo, that's it. That's it. Now, little by little, me, I'm screaming at this shit. Yo, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the huge boys, that, you know, enough, B. You know what I'm saying? You know, this kid is, is he's hurt now, bro. Leaking all over the place, bro. Leaking. He, he, you know, he, he's, he's twisted, yo. I looked at him after everybody, you know, got off of him. I looked at him and said, damn, Jesus, why you, you got to be like that, Jesus, man? Why you got to be that dude that everybody hates? He was so fucked up that he didn't say nothing to me. So we left. He was like, yo, Flex, see you later. Who are high? He was supposed we got it. Magic was like, oh, man, look <laughs> Man, he was talking all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, look at my ass, son. I love the nigga up. All that crazy shit, right, man? So we get back to Hughes Avenue. Hughes, Arthur, you know, that area by the by the Chingalings. I don't know what was going on with Magic's head. I don't know what Magic was thinking about. We there for about a half an hour. This shit just finished happening. It's only about a half an hour that passes. He wants to go get weed. The weed spot is right in the same block where that shit happened. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't know he he left. I didn't I didn't know he went to the weed spot. But I'm like, yo, where magic at? Yo, that nigga went to get the weed. I said, where did he go? Where he always goes, so Junebug. I said, yo, is this motherfucker crazy? That's when my when when, when my man Des, another huge bug, he said, Des said, oh shit. He just got it. Bro, we just finished. We just finished from fucking somebody up over there, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like 25 seconds later, me, all I see is magic running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I never seen magic run like that in my life, son. Yeah, I'm, trust me, they couldn't get this man. <laughs> when he got to the block, when he got to Hughes Avenue, that he got to the corner of the store where we at, we, you know, we all chilling. It's Fourth of July. You already know the guns are out there, fireworks is out there, the guns are out there, the chingalings across the street blowing up their fireworks. Cause that's one thing, chingalings every year used to blow up fireworks. It was a beautiful thing. And we used to do it too. But they always used to beat us. They always, motherfuckers, they, I mean, I mean, it, we was all good with them, but they always used to beat us. So anyway, <laughs> we look at Magic and we're like, are you stupid? Are you crazy, Magic? We, and then you're going to go by yourself? <laughs> he said when he got to the weed spot, when he got to the weed spot, there was three girls and like five guys, and Jesus was there. And that was cleaning his eye, you know, that was that was cleaning him up, you know, that was playing, they was playing nurses. And they noticed him when he was walking. Bro, they magic said that even the girls started running after him. <laughs> that would that would have killed my boy Magic. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the story, man. All right, it's, it's full blast. Can you guys hear me now? Let me know if you guys can hear me now. Yo, listen, man. I want to thank um, a cause, no question, Christopher, Christopher, yo, for the for the donations. God bless you, my brother. Yo, I love you all, guys. Uh, Bill, what's the deal? Tito Rivera. You already know the first lady of the K Solo show. Christine, what's up? Uh, yeah, mommy, thank you. Yo, yes, I'm, I'm, yo, God bless you too. You hear me? Anyway, guys, let me, let me get out of here, man. Let me get out of here. Uh, <laughs> God bless you too, Pain. All uh, right, guys, yo, let me get out of here, guys. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Mommy. You hear what Christine said, right? Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. I'm checking up on y'all. Double check. Hold up. Let me see. All right, man, listen up. What time is it? Damn, I came into the time because I'm on my watch right now. I mean, on my phone. Uh... I don't know if I got my watch here with me either. Anyway, listen, man. Um, 
I might come back, man. I might come back right now. I might come back. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go take a shower. And I will come back, guys. All right? That's my word. So um, if you guys be going to be chilling for about a half an hour, I mean, like, for about another hour, I'll be back. You heard, guys? You know, go take a shower, feel fresh, and stuff like that. All right? This is your boy, Big K Solo. Love you guys, man. And um, you already know, man. Stay true, all right? And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, one more thing I got to say, man. One more thing. One more thing I got to say. Okay. And this goes to Chulo, man. This goes to Chulo. Bro, that's it, bro. I said what I had to say. You said what you had to say, B. You already know how I feel. You know, it's just a feeling, bro. I'm pretty sure, you know, you know it'll go away. All right? I know you're feeling bad right now, but it, it will go away, bro. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I, I came at you, B, because I know you saw that show. The way you came out and said about this man, about fat, about Big Pun not being Lane King, but come on, man. You did that video because you saw that video that I did. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, man. I, I'm not stupid, bro. You know, I'm not stupid. What a coincidence. I throw a video with, with, with Charlie Rock, and you're going to come out two or three days later with a video talking about Fat Joe and Fat, uh, Big Pong was not a king. Bro. Anyway, man. You already know, guys. This is K Solo, man. You already know what's up. Love you guys. I'll probably be back later, like I said. God bless you guys. You heard? Love you guys, man. See you later, man.